Hello again, Pastor Allen from Grace Chapel, Shemokin, with a word of encouragement from the Word of God. The verse we have for us today is 2 Chronicles 7:14. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. A few thoughts for today. We understand that Yes, social distancing and stay-at-home orders are going to help our country a lot. But I believe that this verse contains the key for helping our country to a greater degree and for a longer period of time than what social distancing can do. Because it's a, an if-then conditional clause where God is promising to get involved in miraculous supernatural ways if we, his people, we who know the Lord, call upon the Lord, believe in the Lord, if God's people will do several things. The first is exercise humility. If we will humble ourselves, to bow low before God, to, to adopt a position under the authority of God, where we can accept God as the true leader of our life. And we daily refuse to be boss of our life, where we just set that aside and we stop doing that and we acknowledge that we we, we need to be properly in alignment with God. Uh, that is, I think, behind that idea of, of humility. Secondly is transparency, uh, coming off of the word pray. Uh, we need to be open before God, uh, where we share with Him specifically what we're experiencing, the challenges we're facing, the difficulties in front of us. Uh, yes, we need to be open with all those. And we need to admit that we need and want God's help for handling the situations and the circumstances His way. Not, not our way, but His way. And so we are open to that. Um, thirdly is the idea of curiosity where we are seeking His face, where we again, can daily make it our business to search for what God is saying to us at this time, uh, where we hunt for the lessons, the, the truths that God wants to share with you and with me as we go through difficult times like these, uh, where we seek for ways for how God wants to show his love to us and then through us to those around us, where we are um, curious and seeking for how can we be a blessing to someone and share what God has given to us with someone who has a need in their life? That we can be open-hearted as well as open-handed with the people that are around us and be a blessing to them. From humility to transparency, curiosity, and then of course, the recovery. The idea of repentance, where we return to a right relationship with God and we restore God as the number one person in our life, where we really truly love him the most we love him best of all first of all most of all where it really is all about god we want to honor him love him serve him uh, obey him please him uh, where we are going back to that and then where we are repenting for those things where we have done wrong where we have gone against what god has said and we have not done what god wanted those are things we need to repent of and God has said, when we will do these things, then he will step in and do amazing things, forgiving our sins because he is a merciful God and he wants us to experience and enjoy that lifelong love relationship with him. But then also heal our land. We need God's help at this difficult time in our land. And if we will do our part, God has promised to do his part. And so I trust, I hope that you'll join with me in examining your own life, that together we, God's people, will call upon him and humble ourselves and pray and seek his face and turn from our wicked ways so that we can be a part of God answering the need of the hour here in our own country. Until we can talk again, be blessed, stay healthy, and be safe.